Hi guys, so today I thought I would do a bit of a nail polish collection video um, but a specifically Biome nail paint collection because I've got quite a few and I really love them and I've been watching quite a few nail polish related videos recently um, so I thought that that might be quite a good one to do. Um, this is sort of inspired by Louise from Sprinkle of Glitter. She is, if not my favourite YouTuber, definitely within my top five favourite YouTubers. I absolutely love her videos. She's so funny and so lovely and bubbly and I love seeing her with her baby. She's such a good mum and anyway, I love her videos and I really love when she does videos with her little nail wheels. Um, and so um, she kind of inspired me to, to paint a little nail wheel like this and talk you through my Biome nail paints. So without further ado, ado, or ado, um, the first one that I wanted to talk about is this dark blue one here and it's called Indigo. It is number 312 and I really like this one. It's, as the name would suggest, a sort of purpley toned dark blue colour. Um, it's nice flat opaque paint. Um, that's what I like about a lot of these Barium ones. They are nice sort of matte colours. I quite like a nice matte nail polish. Um, so yeah, that is Indigo. The second one is Spring Green, which is what I'm wearing on my nails right now. I do apologise for the slight chipness. Um, but this is actually six days worth of wear with no top coat because I'm lazy and didn't put a top coat on. Um, and okay, fair enough, I haven't exactly been like doing the gardening or rock climbing or anything to sort of been too hard on them, but I think for six days of wear with no top coat, these paints last pretty well. Um, for two ninety nine each, I really don't think you can go wrong. So yeah, that's spring green. I love this, it's a lovely sort of bright green. I feel like green gets kind of neglected in the kind of makeup world a wee bit, so um, I really like when you get like a nice bright opaque green paint like that. So that's really lovely. Next, oh, and that is number 290. Next is what I have on my little accent nail, which is mint green, which is, as the name would suggest, a nice sort of fresh, minty, almost kind of like toothpaste kind of colour, which sounds a bit strange, but um, I really like this colour. I feel like um, it's nice and wearable. I kind of forget about it sometimes actually, and then I go into my sort of nail paint box um, with all my nail polishes and I see it and I think, oh, I haven't worn that for ages, so I really like that one. Um, next we have Blue Moon. Ooh, the lighting's going a bit mental. Um, but this is Blue Moon and Anna from Viviana Does Makeup, number 317. She talked about this one in her top five spring nail polishes. Her her preference though was the model zone one. I think it's called Blue Boo or Boo Blue, one way or the other. Um, and she really likes that one. She says the model zone one is like a better version of this. Now, I like model zone nail polishes. I really do. Um, this one, I love the colour. I think it's so pretty and sort of a nice fresh baby blue. The problem is though, that is four coats. Like, all of these that I've got on here are three coats because I, th I feel like you can get away with two with the Barry M nail paints, but um, I put three on just on here so that you can see the colours nice and brightly. This, however, is four really, really hefty coats, proper heavy, thick coats, um, to get it to that sort of stage. So if you're in a rush, I wouldn't suggest <laughs> using this one. This is one that I only use, do you know what I was going to say? I was about to say, I only use that once in a blue moon, that's ridiculous. Um, but I actually do, um, if I've got time to kind of like sit and do my nails like properly, um, I'll use that one. Oh my god, I can't believe I almost said that. Anyway, um, yeah, so it's really, it's a really nice colour but it's a bit more sort of hassle um, if you don't have the time. The next one is probably my favourite Barry M nail paint and it's very much talked about on the sort of blogging world at the moment but it's Berry Ice Cream which is this lovely lilac. Um, it is number 308 and it's part of their ice cream collection. It's the only one that I have actually, um, but I really do like the look of the strawberry ice cream one, the sort of baby pink one. But again, a lovely flat matte lilac pastel colour. I really love these pastel colours for spring at the moment. I'm not one of these people who kind of tends to um, sort of coordinate my nails with like the seasons. I'm, I'm sort of not 
I don't shy away from certain colours in certain seasons, I just sort of paint them whatever colour I feel like at the time. Um, but this one I feel like you can just wear absolutely any time. It's nice and pastel and fresh, it's just lovely. Um, next, we have Pink Flamingo, which is number 305. And it's this lovely coral pink, it's really, really bright. And that, as I said, it's three coats, but you can get away with two. Um, and it's nice and opaque, nice and bright. Um, I'm going to contradict myself here because I just said I don't coordinate with the seasons, but I think that's a nice summery colour. Nice and bright pink um, with a sort of orangey tone to it, so I really love that one. Next we have number 318, which is called Peach Melba. And I think this is a really, really nice colour to wear if maybe you're working or you sort of have something on that you want to look quite presentable for and you don't want to be wearing something like this. Um, Peach Melba I think is just a really really nice sort of almost manicure-esque sort of colour. It's really really subtle um, but really fresh and a nice nice a lovely lovely shade so I really like that. Um, so yeah that's that one. Next along we have Raspberry which I accidentally have two of. Um, it's number 273 because for ages I really wanted raspberry and navy and I went into Boots and I picked one up one day, went home, um, put it in with the rest of my nail polishes and then a few weeks later it was in Barry and thought oh I'll get the other one. For some reason had it in my head that I bought navy and ended up with two bottles of raspberry. Um, but it's really nice, it's a lovely winey red. Um, raspberry red sort of shade. Um, this one I think you do need three coats um, because I think when it's a darker colour like this you want it to be quite opaque. Um, but these dry relatively quickly, they're not, they don't take too long to dry so that's not too much of a hassle. Next we have a very unusual colour. This one is called Dusky Mauve and it looks like a really dark greyish sort of strange colour. You're not probably going to, oh you can, a wee bit. I didn't think you'd be able to see that on camera, but it's actually got these sort of like purple reflects through it, sort of like iridescent lilac reflects, which to be honest, I kind of wish showed up a, a wee bit better on the actual nail, um, but in certain lights it, it does, it's not really showing up on here, but in certain lights it does show up slightly more purpley. Um, it's kind of an unusual colour. I don't wear it all that often, but sometimes I take a notion for it and I think, oh, I'll give that one another go. This one is potentially my new favourite. This is Copper, and I got this in, uh, like, my last video, I mentioned the Boots 3 for 2 quite a lot, and I actually got this with, I think, some of my colour tattoo eyeshadows. But, oh, it's so pretty. It's number 335, and it has got every colour of glitter in it imaginable. Oh, it's so lovely. It's a really, really proper coppery colour and the glitter's not showing up too well on here, but it really does have, it has like green glitter and gold glitter and sort of all the sparkle in this is just beautiful. So I really like that. Um, I haven't actually worn that on my nails yet, so um, I'm quite excited for that. The next two are, oh, I love these. These are two of the Nail Effects, Instant Nail Effects foil polishes. Um, these are gold foil and lilac foil. And I think these are fantastic. This is them here. They just look amazing. They look like, I remember someone asking me and saying, oh, is, that, is that polish? Like, is that actually nail polish? They, they have the most unusual finish. Um, that's two coats on each of them. You can get away with one for these absolutely no problem. The finish is so kind of opaque and sort of thick. Um, they're a thicker consistency to the rest of the normal polishes and so they dry really flat. Um, sort of like flat colour without any sort of nail shown through. So they're really lovely. I like these. I wear these a lot. There's a silver foil one as well that I'm tempted to pick up at some point. Um, next, this may not pick up too well. Oh, it is fairly well. The next one, this is Pink Iridescent, which I love. Oh, it's such a cute glitter. It's number 264. Um, and it's got, it's like a sort of baby pink with um, darker pink and silver gold and mint green 
like sort of reflex and glitter through it. I love this. Um, this is two coats of it on its own, just to let you see the sort of shimmer. And then I've popped over one coat of the berry ice cream, um, just to give you an idea of what it looks like as a top coat, which is really, really pretty and shimmery. It gives a lovely shine um, and a nice glitter. And unlike a lot of glitter polishes that I struggle with, I avoid glitter polishes because of the hassle of taking them off. It's such a palaver to try and scrub them off. Um, this one's actually not bad at all because the glitter's fairly fine um, so you don't feel like you're sort of scratching the surface of your nails when you're trying to take it off. Oh, last but not least, I have um, the Instant Nail Effects Black Crackle Polish number 311. Um, this is it here, again over one coat of berry ice cream so you can just see the effect of it. To be honest, I prefer the, the model's own crackle polishes I think they're called the smash up. I think they're smash up polishes. I've got the purple one and I feel like it doesn't do as much of this kind of like clumping. It sort of breaks up a wee bit more. Um, so if I was going to buy another one, I'd probably buy a model's own one. But um, yeah, this one's fine. Um, it's fairly kind of, um, it does the job. I just think that maybe it's not, it's not my favorite of the sort of nail effects ones. I really like these kind of like foily ones a bit better. Um, but yes, I have managed, I wanted to do this in under 10 minutes, it is now 11 and a half, I don't know how I managed to waffle on, but that is it for my Barry M nail paint collection video. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed that guys, and I will stop there and be back again soon. I think I'll maybe do a tag video for my next video, so um, if you have any sort of recommended tags that you think would be fun to do, then you can pop them in the comments section below. Um, click subscribe if you want to see any more of my videos and I will see you again soon. Bye! Hmm.